inside Rogers Center in downtown Toronto. We've got baseball coming up for Jackie Robinson Day. It's the New York Yankees and the Toronto Blue Jays. Along with Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Chris, today a special day on the Major League Baseball calendar, Jackie Robinson Day. Everyone on the field wearing number 42 to honor Jackie and his breaking of the professional baseball color barrier in 1947 with the Brooklyn Dodgers. Well, Boog, it's a great day for everyone in terms of just the unity that it helped to bring forth within our country, and a lot of times that's done through sport. But for me, as a black player, when I think about Jackie Robinson and I think about the connection of such a great player and all of the adversity that he had to endure, baseball's hard enough just to play, but then everything sort of on the field, off the field, and how he persevered through that's so inspiring. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. About to get started here. And today's starting pitcher, Yusei Kikuchi. What's the scouting report on him? Well, the key for him usually centers around his ability to command all four of his pitches. I mean, he can get by with three if one isn't working, but it becomes a little tougher to keep hitters guessing, especially when you start to get through the second and third time through the order. So we'll see how he incorporates all of his stuff into this one. Now at the plate, Anthony Volpe. Here comes a pitch. Ground ball, Vlad Jr. gathers and throws to first. One out in the top of the first. Here's a look at Aaron Boone's lineup for the Yankees. And Chris, this group has been struggling to put up runs lately. Well, they haven't been on base a ton, and even when they are, they haven't been hitting very well with the runners on base. So they need a player or two to really step up, have some quality at bats, hit according to the situation, and sort of break out of this. I think if they do, the rest of this lineup will follow. Oh. Juan Soto stands in now, looks at that one inside. And a pitch. On the ground, right side. And it goes just foul. There's no way around it. Soto is one of the most exciting players in baseball. His hitting skills are so advanced, you'd think he'd played in Major League Baseball in a different life or something. And another ball. Fouls one off, two and two. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Three that ball. one misses. Okay. Counts full, three and two. And there's ball four. Well, he earned his trip to first right there. It's not easy laying off pitches that just miss the zone like that. And it's a real discipline as well. He's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game, and it paid off right there. Here comes Aaron Judge. That misses the zone, and that's ball one. And now the lefty. Judge rips that one. Varsho moving back for it. And that one is going to go. And that should quiet this home crowd. Third home run of the season. It's 2 0. The sun rises and Aaron Judge hits a home run. That's a pretty normal day in the world of baseball. versus power right there like two locomotives colliding who's going to win well a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working powers that fastball out of here and here is Giancarlo Stanton and that one fouled off Two runs across in the inning, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Oh, Next one. offering upstairs. One he ball. really committed one to track. that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets oh. hit hard by a power guy Three like ball. this. One That's a nice miss right there. One down, base is empty. 
He swings and fouls one off. Three two now. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The wind of the pitch. This to center field. And they take care of Stanton for the out. And there's two away. Two well, outs, base is empty. Anthony, Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs, base is empty. Bounced up the middle. Bichette. Whips it to first on the run. And that'll do it. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 2-0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Rogers Center, our starter in this one, Marcus Stroman. He really relies on working down in the zone with that heavy sinker he's got. You know, it's not as popular to throw that pitch uh, today as it used to be because, you know, guys are looking to hit balls down in the zone, get them up in the air. It's very important for him when facing same side hitters to be able to Leading get it up, in, especially up. early in the count, the right and view. to opposite guys be able to throw it at that front hip and run it over the inside corner. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. George Springer, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. Now oh, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. I'm talking about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Got him swinging. Had him way out front of the slur. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That swing so reminiscent of his dad. Lots of pop. Deal one. Right through there for a strike. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. One and two. Way outside, and it's one and two. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. Vladdy blasts one out the opposite way. It's 2-1. That's a great way to fire up this crowd. They're feeling it now. He did a tremendous job of letting that pitch travel and get deep. That's the only way you can hit it hard the other way. A slow on the outside corner of the plate. He gets rewarded for it. So one out, nobody on. Bo Bichette up to the dish. There's the strike. Wind in the pitch. That misses. And the count is one and one. One out, base is empty. Hit hard. Should 
the extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. And it's second with one away. Justin Turner now. That one's in there. And that's strike one. And it's second. And that one missing low. Righty delivers. Hit on the ground to the right side. Gloves it on the dive. Takes it himself, and he got him. Nicely done at first for the out. First of all, that's a great diving stop to keep the ball on the infield. Then he's able to get up and get an out. He also keeps that runner from advancing any further. If that ball gets through, the complexion of this inning could be drastically different. Kevin Biggio with a chance to hit. And fouled off. <laughs> Left hand batter waits. One ball. That one way outside. And that's ball one. Right-hander kicks, deals. That catches the zone for a strike. Going to count one and two. Two outs. Caught him looking for the K. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Back at the ballpark here on Jackie Robinson Day. Top of the second, here's Glaber Torres. Torres. Singing here on Jackie Robinson Day, what comes to mind? Courage. I think about what Jackie Robinson had to endure to be a Major League Baseball player, what he had to deal with in society, but also what he had to deal with in his own clubhouses. Oh. To be able to go out there and do that day in and day out, man, that just speaks courage to me. The wind of the pitch. Right through there for a strike. Larry Bullard making the calls behind the plate for us in this one. Pretty good strike zone. Well reviewed by those we talked to around the league. Yeah, he's an umpire. He doesn't get a lot of looks from players, maybe here and there once in a while, but he's appreciated back there. That one the other way, and it's foul. He's dealing with a great two-strike hitter right here. The strikeout is not automatic. The pitch. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Oh, man, just locked him up with that slider, even though it caught a lot of the zone. And I think that tells you all you need to know about what he was looking for in the box, and it clearly was not that pitch. That one pushed to the left and foul. Pulled down the line, this one hammered, but it's foul. And the pitch. And it's down on strikes. Two out. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. He got three straight fastballs looking in the 0 2 count just to pour it back. Birdie. John Birdie at the plate. 
Slapped foul. Birdie measures 5 feet 10 inches, 190 pounds, and they traded for him earlier this year. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top of the second. And a good eye there. On the ground to first. And it finds its way through for a hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Here's Jose Trevino. Kikuchi keeping him close. That one inside. 1-0. and oh. Birdie off the of first with two away. And another ball. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Two outs. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Couple of singles back to back. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Back to the top of the lineup. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. And that's in for a strike. Runner edges away at second. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. And yeah, that's outside. And the count is one and two. 0 oh, 2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him off. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. The one two. The shortstop takes the ball. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Two on, two outs. Okay. Off the mark there. Three and two down. Juan Soto waiting to hit for the Yankees. And that'll load the bases. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Juan Soto down. A walk and a run scored his first time. Just off the outside edge. Bases loaded, two down. That one is absolutely belted. It's gone! Grand slam! That should get the dugout going. His second home run of the series, and they boost their lead. It's 6-1. You almost feel bad for the baseball when Juan Soto hits it. His swing is so powerful. Well, a great job here of staying within himself. You know that if you get a knock, you're going to drive in a couple. So stay focused on that. Well, he does more than just a knock. Hits the grand slam to drive in four. Really good job of the play. So two down. Aaron Judge, the next to hit. He's already homered in this game. 
That Five one move. finds the zone. Strike one. Well, they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning, and this is where you want to just max out, get as much as you can, give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one. And that one is inside. This one blasted the other way, down the line, and it's a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Fights that one away, still one and two. Laboring here, about to throw his 30th pitch of the inning. And they'll do it again. Another one, two. Right side, hard hit. Over to first. That'll end the inning after a lot of scoring. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. And this is now a 6-1 ball game. You're dialed into the show. Back now in Toronto, leading off Alejandro Kirk. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch and throw. He is at the top of the game. The pitch. Really good athlete, and many times we talk about you know the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. Kicks and deals. Really impressive with the way he frames, the way that he sets it up, because sometimes those pitches are off the plate, but because he sets up and presents it so well, he steals strikes for his pitcher. Next pitch is downstairs. That one misses, and it's three and two. But why to kick the pitch? Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Birdie drifts towards it. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Here's Kiermaier now. Pretty amazing going way back. Possibly the best center fielder I've ever seen. Ball one, no strikes. The Yanks leading by five, bottom half of inning number two. Wouldn't Good chase enough. that time. Three Not ball. close no with strike. that one. Three and oh. And a strike in there. Three one now. That's in there. Three ball, two strike. Down, base is empty. Just a slow ground ball this time. Torres to first. So they get the out after a long battle at the plate. That is it. From third baseman. Ernie. Two outs, base is empty. Ernie Clement next up for the Blue Jays. First offering misses badly for ball one. Mm -hmm. 
That Puffin. one missed. Two zero. And a foul ball. And that's off the inside edge. And the count is three and one. Gets the outside corner with that one. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Dalton Varsho stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. And there's a ball. Clement off of first with two away. That misses. And now three balls and a strike. Foul ball. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Here comes a 3 2. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Still in the second, already at 44 pitches. So some concern there. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Payoff pitch. Goes down looking. One left for Toronto. They trail it. 6 1. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top half of the third inning. Now it's the right fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. And a pitch. This one drilled to left. No doubt about it as they add on more. Gone. A gigantic blast. It's 7-1. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. You say Kikuchi gives way, and the home run really bit him today as he exits on the hook for the loss. New arm coming on after the break. Pitching change here, Jose Barrios. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Grounded out his first time. That's in there. That's strike one. You know, these Yankees doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. It's tough to remember the times they've actually swung and missed at a pitch because it really hasn't happened. They've made contact on nearly 100% of their swings. And there's a foul ball. Mm -hmm. 
and he'll two. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. The 0 2. Fights it off, he'll see another. At the belt and fires. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Left hand hitter waits. Now a pop up on the infield. Clement under this one. Hauls it in, and there's one away. Now back, second base. Glaber. Here comes Glaber Torres. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. And he takes a strike. Looks like he sacrificed a pitch right down the middle for tracking and timing. Some good hitters will do that. Kicks and fires. And that's outside. Toronto's bullpen with some action. Bowden Francis, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Cabrera getting cranked up as well. One down, base is empty. The slide and play it short. Throw to first, and very nicely done for the out. Here's Alex Verdugo. Struck out looking at his first at bat. In there for strike one. And the righty deals. That's in there. And that is strike two. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up. He can go away. He can add velocity. He can subtract. And here it comes. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. The Yanks do get one on the solo homer. It's now 7-1. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. And we're back. And now the right fielder, George Springer. The right fielder, George and a pitch that one's in there that's strike one this is one of those times when you want to be aggressive go ahead and pitch to contact let the defense work behind you you've got a nice comfortable lead don't try to be too fine and the right hander deals and a foul ball And one and two. He goes down looking. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. He's already homered here in this one. Swing and a miss. Strike one. One strike. The Blue Jays with a lot of ground to make up here in the last half of the third. Fought off foul. No. Misses. Now one and two. It's a good take. and misses it's a strikeout 
Tass with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. You got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with a base runner. Could become dangerous. Bichette stands in with two away as he takes a ball. I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters even if you give up a solo shot. Oh, Just missed. Nice. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. On the ground, right side. Takes it himself. Three up, three down, inning over. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays. They're down seven to one. Back here at Rogers Center, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, John Birdie. Birdie. Rios back to work. Ball, that one a little bit high, and that is ball one. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Here comes a pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. One away. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Here's the catcher, Jose Trevino. Singled and scored his first time. That misses, and it's 1-0. Sinker one catches ball. the zone at the knees. One ball, one strike. Right-handed reliever. Rip to third. Clement over to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. The batter, the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. And now the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. He's 0 for 1. That one fouled off. Here comes the 01. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Around first, heading for two. And he'll pull in there with a stand up double. He was all over that yeah. one. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bolt the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you've got extra bases right off the bat. That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep at night. And now it's Juan Soto. That misses the zone. Ball one. The pitch. Strike one. One and one. And a 1-1. Out towards right center. That's well struck. 
And that is gone. Another homer. His second home run of the game. It's 9-1. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. Really great job of anticipation there. He knows he throws the sinker. That one down in the zone. You're trying to beat it to the spot it's getting to. Well, he won. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge, one for two. Swing and a miss. And that is strike one. There's a sinker at the knees for a strike. Well, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes, even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready. Oh, well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. And this is now a 9 1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back now in Toronto. Bottom North four. Toronto. Here's Turner now. The left fielder. Justin Turner. The right hander back to work. Wouldn't ball. chase that time. One ball, no straight. And a pitch. Two and ball. another ball. No Chop to third. Birdie. Throw is high and over his head. Around first and hustling for second. And he's into second with nobody out. Now Just kind of sailed that throw base. and pulled it across his body towards the right field side at first base. And usually that means the fielder just didn't square up his shoulders to the target. And I think that throw had just as much to do with his footwork as anything else. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. Went down on strikes his first time through. Fouled off to the right. Man at second. And that one wrapped foul. Swing and a miss struck him out. Had him way out front of the slur. Alejandro Kirk next, next up Jays. for the Blue Jays. The catcher. Alejandro. Foul ball there. And that's off the inside edge. And one and one. And delivers outside. Righty delivers. That one fouled off two and two. Bounce to the left side. Volpe slings it across. 
Play is made two out. Now that the designated hitter, Kevin Kiermeyer. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. And it's fouled away. And he deals. Tried to check his swing there, appeal to third, and he won around. Not an easy call there, but that puts an end to the inning. Blue Jays held in check. They trail it big. It's 9-1. We go to the top of the fifth. Now, Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton. And the right hater back to work. And that is in for a strike. One, one. You know, these Yankees, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They have five extra base hits on the stat sheet so far, and that tells me they're seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well. Deal two. Swing and a miss struck him out. And next for New York, Anthony Rizzo. The first baseman. Anthony. With all those extra base Rizzo. hits, it's easy to think we're going to see that trend continue the rest of the game. They seem to be really locked in at the plate. Up the middle. On the run, throw to first. Rizzo out of the play. Two outs, space is empty. Here is Glaber Torres. Right through there for a strike. Two outs. That's in there. 0-2 oh, now. Well, two outs and a chance to put up a zero on the scoreboard here, and that's not something that's come easy for this staff in this one. That one just missing inside, and that's ball one. And another ball. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Yanks held in check. But they still hold a commanding 9-1 lead. Bottom of the inning, and now for the Jays, Ernie Clement. The third baseman. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Well, these Blue Jays looking to string together better at bats when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. They've had their chances with runners in scoring position, but nobody's been able to deliver a big hit in those situations. And that one fouled off. pitch oh. and takes low for ball one and you got to give some credit to the other side as well they've been able to get out of a few tough jams but frustration is mounting for this offense no doubt and a foul ball he stays alive cuts on it and misses that's a strikeout had him way out front of the slur. Now and now What's it's Dalton Varsho. His yeah. first at bat was a strikeout. Varsho. In the air, center field. Judge pulls it down, and there's two gone. 
Now batting, right fielder. George. One out left for the Blue Jays. Here's George Springer, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Outside. The Yankees up big in this one. Last half of inning number five. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in, but he's in there easily. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. And next for Toronto, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Springer on its second with two down. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Swing and a miss as he was out front. The Jays down to their final strike. That one hammered center field. That's back. And what a play. Ball game. Well, a big win by eight runs. And when you have that kind of lead, do you make it easier for the pitching staff to come out, make their pitches, pitch to contact, and not worry about giving up the lead? So nice job today all the way around to get the W. 9-1 is how it ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.